Hi all, welcome to Raw Online. Prevention is always better than cure. This statement holds very good when you deal with cardiovascular disease. And whenever you have a perioperative MI, things can change so drastically and the outcome can be really bad. So, pre-op evaluation of a cardiovascular disease is very very important in the perioperative outcome of the patient. What are the various challenges in cardiovascular disease? Serious perioperative adverse event accounts for almost 45% of all death within 30 days after major non-cardiac surgery. So, almost one half of the patient died due to cardiovascular event in the perioperative period. And what is more dangerous is this event occurs relatively frequently. Almost 30% of the patient coming for non-cardiac surgery have some form of cardiovascular disease and there is a 4% risk of perioperative MI and 17% risk of prognostically important myocardial injury and there is 0.7% risk of acute cardiac failure. So, you can have MI, you can have injury, you can have acute cardiac failure and even mortality can be there. Now, coming to hypertension. Hypertension is traditionally defined as blood pressure greater than 130 per 80 millimeter of mercury. Your systolic is above 130 and diastolic above 80 millimeter of mercury. It can be primary or essential where you do not have any etiology. It is idiopathic. Almost 80 to 90 percent of blood pressures are due to primary or essential hypertension or you have a second hypertension where etiology is always there. It can be due to renal disease, obstructive sleep apnea, pheochromocytoma or renal vascular hypertension, Cushing syndrome, hyperthyroidism or coarctation of iota. Why you are worried about hypertension? It can lead to left ventricular hypertrophy, heart failure or ischemic heart disease. With regard to kidney, it may cause chronic kidney disease. And what is more important is the patients are prone for stroke or TIA and intracerebral hemorrhage. That is very, very important. And it leads to cerebrovascular as well as peripheral arterial disease. And it can affect the eye leading to hypertensive retinopathy. Whenever the blood pressure exceeds 117 bar 75 millimeter of mercury, your morbidity increases and subsequent increase of around 20 millimeter of mercury with systolic and more than 10 millimeter of mercury increase in diastolic increases your morbidity and mortality. When the blood pressure rises, your stroke and your cardiovascular death increases almost two fold. When the blood pressure is around 130-80, when it exceeds around or it goes near 130-80 and there are one or more two risk factors, the risk in the perioperative period seems to be low. But when it touches around 160 or 100 to 110 and when their risk factors are increasing from 2 to 3, the risk from low moves to moderate risk in the perioperative period. And your blood pressure is around 180 by 110. When you have three or more risk factor and there is chronic kidney disease, the risk is going to be really high. And when your blood pressure is greater than 180 and 110 and there is renal failure and three or more risk factor, the perioperative risk is really, really high. So, it should be very careful with blood pressure control in the perioperative period. Now, coming to the perioperative risk of hypertension. The duration and severity of hypertension, how long the hypertension was there and how severe is the hypertension, whether the blood pressure was controlled or the blood pressure was uncontrolled and the duration, whether it is there for 3 years or 20 years, that is very, very important because this might decide the end organ damage, morbidity and 
mortality and you have to understand that there is increased risk of post operative death and myocardial infarction but what is fortunate for us is the magnitude of this association is relatively weak although theoretically hypertension is associated with increased death and myocardial infarction the magnitude of the association is relatively weak